High levels of water along rivers and reservoirs are keeping emergency management teams on alert. Flooding in San Joaquin County has already cost millions of dollars worth of damage. CBS 13's Carlos Correa is along the San Joaquin River with more. A couple of months ago, this entire area was covered with water. As you can see, things haven't changed much as people start to rebuild. Bill instead is finally getting the chance to walk back into the Manteca Sportsman's Club. A shooting range that was completely underwater after recent storms hit Northern California. Well, this year was pretty bad. The heavy rain caused massive flooding that left the club several feet underwater. Owners were forced to close their doors. Even their neighbors had to abandon their property. It's been a big problem out here for, for a while. More than two months later, most of the area is still flooded. The San Joaquin County Office of Emergency Services estimates the damage to be around $13 million and doesn't include the crops lost by local farmers. We're not out of the clear. We're just now starting another danger period of the snowmelt. Areas along the McCollum River and the San Joaquin River are being watched closely as they rise to monitor levels and in some cases warning levels this weekend. There are also crews patrolling parts of the Delta 24-7. We're, we're threatened to the north to the east and the south due to river systems and to the west because of the inland delta and the tidal flow also threatens our, our levees in the delta. So all around us we're threatened by water. The county continues to try and get as much federal assistance to help people deal with the flooding. Meanwhile, property owners have taken steps to save their land. Sandbags, yes, but um, all, all we can do is take it day by day. It's the nature of living by the delta. Well, county officials say there is funding available to protect levees with ongoing maintenance and monitoring.